When you're buying a bike for your child, it can be challenging to figure out what bike size your child needs. While kids' bikes are typically sized according to their wheel size, which is the diameter of the wheel in inches, bikes with the same wheel size can vary drastically in overall size. For example, look at these two bikes. They both have 14-inch wheels and have their seats set to their lowest point. While they are both marketed towards three and four-year-olds, they are certainly not designed for the same size kid. So while wheel size does provide a good place to start when choosing a bike for your child, it does not guarantee a best fit. So what's the secret to finding a bike that fits your child perfectly? Two things, the seat height of the bike and your child's inseam. The seat height of a bike is the distance from the floor to the lowest point on the bike's saddle. Similarly, your child's inseam is the distance from the floor to their crotch. These two things are the secret combination to finding the right bike. After testing out almost a hundred different bikes with many different kids, we've come up with four easy steps to help you confidently purchase the right size bike for your child. Number one, measure your child's inseam. Number two, narrow down wheel size. Number three, determine rider ability and seat height. And number four, select a bike for current fit and growth. Step one, measure your child's inseam. Your child's inseam, not their height, is the most accurate way to ensure your child will properly fit on a bike, regardless of the bike's wheel size. To measure your child's inseam, have them first stand against a wall with their shoes on and their feet slightly apart. Then gently slide a hardbound book between their legs and raise it until it is snug against their crotch. Next, make sure the book is level with the floor and mark the wall. Measure up from the ground to that point. This measurement is your child's inseam. Step two, narrow down wheel size. Armed with your child's inseam, use our wheel size chart to narrow down which wheel sizes will best fit your child. Because bikes vary greatly in size, it's very possible that your child's inseam falls into two wheel sizes, just like our little kid bike tester here. If so, it is generally best to buy in the larger wheel size to allow for more room for growth. For future reference, a link to this chart is provided in the comments below. Step three, determine ideal seat height based on child's riding ability. Now that you know what size bike is likely best for your child, it's time to take your child's riding ability into consideration. Why? Because the seat height of a bike is set differently based on if your child is a beginner, is experienced, or is using training wheels. The seat height is the distance from the ground to the top of the seat and will help you narrow down your options even further and guarantee a great fit from day one. Number one, beginning riders, feet flat. A beginning rider, including balance bike graduates, should be able to sit on the bike seat and have their feet flat on the ground. At this stage, it's essential for a child to be able to easily stop their bike using their feet. As a result, their bike seat height should be set equal to their inseam. Number two, experienced riders on their tiptoes. An experienced rider who knows how to comfortably start and stop a bike, as well as use either a handbrake or a foot brake, should be able to sit on the bike's saddle and have their tiptoes touch the ground. This means that the seat should be set two to four inches above their inseam. Raising the seat allows for proper leg extension while pedaling, which maximizes the efficiency of each pedal stroke. And number three, on training wheels, feet flat or tiptoes. For those who plan on using training wheels, feet flat or tiptoes both work, depending on the confidence of your child. Because the child doesn't have to balance the bike or worry about falling over, just set the seat according to what is most comfortable for them. This means that the seat should be set zero to three inches above the child's inseam. Step four, select your bike for current fit and growth. Now that you know the desired seat height for your child's bike, you can begin shopping. Ideally, you'll find a bike that has a minimum seat height that's as close to, but without going over, the seat height you determined in step three. This allows the bike to fit perfectly now, but also offers the most room for growth so you don't have to buy another bike too soon. Here's an example using the bikes we just saw and our little kid bike tester. She's five and has an inseam of 19 and a half inches. Each of the following bikes are a great fit for a child her size, but which one is best depends on the child's experience and riding ability. Bike number one is the Pelo Revo 16 inch bike with a minimum seat height of 19 and a half inches. Bike number two is the Womb 4 20 inch bike with a minimum seat height of 22 inches. 
and Bike 3 is a Schwinn 16-inch bike with a minimum seat height of 21 inches. If our little kid bike tester is a beginning rider, the Pelo Revo is a perfect fit because its minimum seat height matches her inseam and allows her to sit with her feet flat on the ground. If our little kid bike tester is experienced, the Womb 4 is a much better option. With its minimum seat height set two and a half inches above her inseam, she can sit on the saddle and reach the ground with her tiptoes, and it offers plenty of room for her to grow. If our little kid bike tester is using training wheels, the 16-inch Schwinn is a great option if she's an average to confident rider. With a minimum seat height an inch and a half above her inseam, she can reach the ground with her tiptoes and get good leg extension for more efficient pedaling. When selecting your child's bike, be sure to narrow down several options so that other factors such as price, weight, brake type, and even color preference can be taken into consideration. This is all great information, but where do you find the seat height of a bike? Check our website. We've tested almost 100 kids' bikes and have personally measured each bike's seat height range. Check below for links to the appropriate pages, which are broken down by wheel size. Our site features lists of our favorite kids' bikes as well as detailed reviews of individual bikes to help you shop smarter. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to get out and ride!